All right, seventh grade, we're ready to start a new module today. So this is module two, which I think you're going to find that you guys know all about. Today, you're going to look at several resources and you're going to make inferences based on those resources. Before we jump into the work for today, I need you to do the entrance ticket, unit one, lesson one. You have two questions and one question has two parts. So go ahead and pause the video and answer these independently. Once you get finished, you guys can talk about these as a class, okay? Um, so go ahead and pause the video and do that now. All right, guys, so let's look at our learning target for today. I can infer the topic of this module from the resources. I have two words that I need you to add to your vocab logs, infer and clenched. Clenched was in your entrance ticket. So if you did not choose to clamp tightly shut, you can see here that that is the definition. So go ahead and pause the video and add both of these definitions to your vocab logs now. All right, guys, so now we want to work to make an inference about the topic that we're going to be reading about, okay? So in order to do that, let's go in our workbooks to page four and five. You guys are going to see an infer the topic. I notice I wonder note catcher. Um, and then you're going to have directions for inferring the topic, okay? Um, the resources should have already been made available to your teacher. You are going to have resources that you're going to look at. So you're going to look carefully at each resource. You're going to record things that you notice and things that you wonder based off of each of the resources. Okay. So I'm going to ask that you pause the video. You guys are going to need some time to work through this and work through the resources. And then once you're finished, I'm going to ask that your teacher go through this with you and kind of talk about some of the things that you guys are seeing. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, so now that you've looked at some of the resources, what do you think this module might be about? Go ahead and pause the video and have this discussion out loud. What might this topic be about? All right, guys, so if you're talking about pandemics and epidemics and sickness, you're right. That's the direction that we're heading in today. So very quickly, I'm just going to introduce the performance task and the module guiding questions. You guys know that the performance task comes at the very end, but it's okay. We want to we want to keep the end in mind as we are learning. So the performance task is going to be a podcast created in groups of three. You're going to ask to be used. You're going to um, you're going to be asked to use sound effects, music, and other podcast features to grab the listener's attention. And so here are some of the things that your podcast will include. So I'm going to ask that your teacher pause the video and you guys go through this list together right now. All right, guys. So what do you notice? What do you wonder? Now that you've analyzed the performance task, has your inference of what this module might be about changed and how? Please pause the video and I want you guys to have some discussion as a class about these questions. All right, guys, as promised, let's look at some of the guiding questions and big ideas. So what are epidemics and how do they develop? What does this mean and what strategy do you can you use to find this out? So I want you guys to pause the video and have some discussion about these two questions. Okay, guys, another guiding question that we're going to keep in mind as we're working through this module. What is the role of character and mindset in solving epidemic crises? That's a big question. What does this mean? And what strategy can you use to figure it out? What is the role of character and mindset in solving these huge epidemics? So go ahead and pause the video and have some discussion about these now. All right, guys, lastly, let's look at some, some of the, the rest of the guiding questions and big ideas. What are ep ep epidemics and how do they develop? How do people respond to an epidemic? You guys have lived through an epidemic. You can answer this based on personal experience. What is the role of character and mindset in solving epidemic crises? And what methods and tools help people to solve epidemics? All right, guys, these are two questions I want you to have some discussion about before we move into the next part of the lesson. What does this topic mean to you at this point in your life? And why might it be meaningful to study this topic? From what you know so far, what are you looking forward to about this topic the most? So please go ahead and pause the video and let's have some discussion about these now. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and launch the text now. So you should have a copy of Patient Zero. Just in looking at it, flipping through the first few pages, 
Talk to your elbow partner. What do you notice? What do you wonder? Go ahead and pause the video. All right, guys, you're going to notice some text features and some things that are different in this book as compared to what we read previously. You're going to see you have toolboxes, you have a glossary, you have sources, you have an index, and you have an about the author. You have a table of context. There are pictures throughout it. There are history pages, which are in red, and there are narrative pages, so page story-like pages in green, and there are medical potion bottles. So for the next three minutes, what I would love for you guys to do is reflect silently, okay? I want you to write down your thoughts about, um, you guys know this bothers me when this text doesn't line up. I want you to write down your thoughts about what you're seeing, what you're noticing. How does that make you feel? What do you think this is going to be about? So go ahead, pause the video, and for the next three minutes, flip through the book, reflect silently, and write down your thoughts. <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk about some questions. What does what you read or saw in the book make you think about and why? And what are the subsections and text features? How can you tell they're not part of the text? So there are some sections that are set apart from the text. How can you tell they're not the same? And how does each text feature fit with the part before and, and the part after? So go ahead and pause the video, guys, and have some class discussion about this now. Mommy. All right, guys, in our final, in our final thing, I want you guys to um, pair up. One of you is partner A and partner B. Partner A, I want you to respond to and share your reflections that you have gathered this morning. Reflect about what you thought about the book. Partner B, you'll do the same after partner B is finished. So I want you guys to time each other and then we're going to share out as a whole group. So if you'll pause the video, the teacher, your teacher can kind of help walk you through this. And then we'll do a check for understanding and we will be finished for today. All right, guys. So we have a check for understanding with an exit ticket. So your exit ticket is on page six in your workbook. Um, I'm going to, an exit ticket is supposed to demonstrate the knowledge that you've learned thus far. So I'm not going to go over this with you. Your teacher might want you to rip this out and turn it in. They might want to walk around the room and check this, but I'm going to sign off here. You guys have the remainder of class today to finish your exit ticket, and I'm going to see you soon, and we're going to jump into reading patient zero.